Hi everyone, how you doing? So it's that time of the year, it's Halloween, or at least it was last night technically, uh, but I'm about to actually go to a Halloween party out in the bush to celebrate. So I'm making sure that my hair is nice and ready for the occasion. But there's something wrong with it. I think there's just too much hair. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's that time of the year where it's about letting the old things go and it's about letting the new things become reborn like the phoenix. And so, I think it's about time for the old... That's right, the old snip snip. So, some people believe that hair actually stores information or memories or experience experiences from your past and experiences from you know everything everything that's happened to you all the knowledge you hold all the wisdom all the feelings apparently it's all stored right there in the hair and it, it kind of makes sense it kind of makes sense I mean you look at monks you know monks are all about detachment right Buddhist monks they're all about detachment and letting go of the material possessions which act as chains and shackles for so many people. About letting go of the material world in general and becoming one with soul and being open to the beauty, endless and magical beauty of the moment. And that's, that's where the monks are at, alright? Now on the other hand you've got the other side of the equation. Jamaicans, you know, the Rastas. And the Rastas, they're all about power. You know, you get your witch doctors and their voodoo. And the power in their dreadlocks, it's actually stored in their dreadlocks. All the, the experiences, the knowledge, the essence of times past is stored inside their dreadlocks. So they keep their hair long and they can actually feel through it and they can tune into the essence of the past, so to speak. They have a lot more potency, a lot more energy to tap into. Wow, look at that. It's almost as smooth as a baby's bottom. So I thought, you know, Halloween's here and I should... I'm not going to go full on commitment like the, like the Buddhist monks do. But, you know, I thought a lot's happened. You know, I was in a very dark place about a year ago. Only a year ago. I was depressed. I was getting high every day. Smoking the days away. I wasn't really being too productive internally or externally. And then I, I moved my location of where I was living into a much more uplifting place with people that helped me overcome a lot of my struggles, even if they didn't take me by the hand personally and walk me through and teach me lessons and show me how to get past my shit, just having better people to be around, stronger, wiser people allowed me to strengthen myself up. And these people weren't perfect and they had problems of their own and it was through helping them deal with their problems that I was able to appreciate my own and through helping them and seeing them commit and to changing themselves and their lives and commit to disciplining themselves it inspired me to do the same and so a year later you know for a while there i was doing hospitality and uh hospitality was my niche and then i don't know it got to a point where i'm like well i'm just over taking out dishes every day, same old chit chat and smiles, as much as I love people, I thought some change was due, and so that's exactly what I did, just like I'm doing now, so now I'm actually running my own business in gardening, landscaping, and my father actually pulled his back, and that's why I'm taking over the business, because He's unfit to run the business. Man, doing the back of this is so hard. 
This is so hard. Oh my god. Maybe I should just go for all of it. What do you reckon? I was gonna go half, half, half monk, half whatever. I'm actually just gonna go the full, and part of it's just because this is a time of renewal. It's a time of letting go, and it's about embracing the new year ahead. Whatever it may bring, bring it on. Um, already, I think the changes that I've seen. The new lifestyle that I am developing and the commitments I have made, the new commitments in my life, this new journey, it's changing me for the better and making me more focused, more oriented. I actually feel like I have more direction now and more faith in myself that I'm going to actually get to where I'm going. There we are, look at that. It's all gone. It's all gone! Jeez, it wasn't as fantastic as I hoped. But this isn't about ego. <laughs> this isn't about looking good. It's about renewal. It's about rebirth. It's about letting go completely of the old so that you can let the new grow in its place. Of course, this is just me shaving my hair. Just hair being cut. But I'm big on symbology, and what this symbolizes is a new beginning. I'm sure I'm going to be naked for a while, I'm going to feel vulnerable. And the sun, with all its rays of, you know, warming, heating, hot possibility, I'm going to pound on my open, bare head. So I should, I should wear a hat for a while. But you know what? This tote's going to be worth it. Because I don't think you can really grasp the new and the new and new until you finally let go of your old and former self. That's what I believe. Whatever you do, it's up to you. It is November we're entering, so I'm not going to be shaving this. But this baby, it's how it is now. Happy Halloween, everybody, and good luck getting rid of or plain old tarot card, you know, letting go of all the things you need to let go of in your life and embracing the new changes that are to come. It can only get better from here. Thanks.